In this video, I'm going to show you how to create scrolling text on a custom path right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we can just begin by creating some new text. So to begin with, we are just going to go to the T icon. So we'll press T up here. That is the horizontal type tool, or you can hold command and T. That is the keyboard shortcut for it. Then you're just going to type anywhere in here and we're just going to select our word. We'll type our word in. So I'm going to go for Brooker and then I'm going to change the font to a veneer. But of course, you can change your font to whatever you like. So there you go. You can see we've got our text sitting in the middle. So from here, you want to make sure your text layer is selected. Then we're going to go up to here on the top of After Effects and we'll pull this rectangle tool down to reveal the rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, the polygon tool and the star tool. So select any one of these because the effect will work on any one of these, but I'm going to go for the rounded rectangle to begin with. And then we'll just draw a rounded rectangle over that text like so. Now from here, we're going to go down into the text. So we're going to go down here. We'll go to text, go to path options, select the drop down arrow, select path and change from null to mask one. And as you can see, the text is now sitting on that mask. Now, if we just go into the path settings, you can see we've got reverse path. So at the moment it's upside down and inside the mask. So we're just going to turn that on. There you go. So now it's going to sit outside that mask. Then we've got perpendicular to path. So if you turn that off, then the text is going to be straight down. But if you keep that on, then the bottom of the text is always going to sit on the bottom of that mask, which I think looks better. Then we've got force alignment, which if we turn on, it's going to fill out this which at the moment, because we've only got the one word there, it doesn't really look too great. So we'll turn that off for now. And then we've got the first margin and we've got the last margin. And this is what we're going to use to animate this. So the next step is to go ahead and fill this mask with these words. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Brooker. I'm going to add a space at the end of that. Then we'll go Command A or Control A if you're on Windows. Command C to copy. And then Command V, Command V, Command V. Command V and we'll go one more time. But the problem is, as you can see, that has overlapped. So I'm just going to go Command A. We'll go to the character window on the right of After Effects. And if you can't see the character window, then just go into window and make sure character is turned on. Then in the character window, we can just pull the size of the font down so that it fits. And there is an appropriate gap between the end of this and the start of this, like so. And now from here, essentially what we're going to do is go down to first margin and we're just going to animate this so that it does this over time. So the first way of doing it is by creating keyframes. So we'll scroll to the very beginning. We'll go to first margin, select the stopwatch icon and make sure this is zero. Now we'll move a few seconds to the right and we'll pull this up to around 1000 or so. And when we play this back, you'll notice this is now animating on a path. Of course, if that's a little bit too fast, then just increase the gap between the keyframes and that should slow that down. Or if you did want that faster, then just decrease that gap. So that's only a one second gap and now that's extremely fast. But the problem is though, I find this to be a little bit clunky, especially if you've got a longer composition. So I'm just going to delete those keyframes and instead we're going to add an expression onto this specific setting. So we're going to hold option on our keyboard and we'll select the stopwatch icon on first margin and that will load up the expression window. So at the moment it's currently set to text.path option.first margin. We'll delete that and then we're just going to type out the expression time times and a number. So we'll go T-I-M-E, we'll do a time symbol, so that is a star. And then we're just going to go for 100. Now when you enter this, do not press the enter button because pressing the enter button will just put you on a new line. So you just want to click anywhere outside that box to apply that expression. And now when we play this back, it's just going to infinitely loop and just keep doing this over and over again for the entire duration of your composition. It's a much cleaner way of doing this. Of course, if this is too slow for you, then all you have to do is go into the expression, increase the number. So we'll go 500. As you can see, that is really fast. If we pull this down to, let's go for 20. You can see that is really slow. But I think 100 is pretty much perfect. So we'll go for 100. So the next question is, how on earth do you change this from this rounded rectangle into a circle or even a custom path? Well, all you have to do is just select the text layer. 
Then we're just gonna go back up to that rounded rectangle box. We'll drag down and select the ellipse tool and we'll just draw an ellipse over that rounded rectangle. Now we're gonna go into our source text again. So we'll go source text, path options and we'll select mask two. There you go. So now that has changed to mask two, but the problem is you can see that we've got this overlap. So again, we're just gonna go into the character window and we'll pull the font size down. So at the moment it's set to 83 and that fits. And as you can see, we've now got our infinitely looping text moving on this path. But if you wanted this to be on a custom path, then all you have to do is just select that text layer. We'll go into the free draw bezier or the pen tool as it's called on After Effects. And we'll just draw out a custom path. Now, if you wanted to make a curve edge, then all you have to do is just hold down on that point that you created and then just move this around and that will create a custom point. So we're gonna go for an infinity symbol or an eight, something like that. Then we'll go to the path, change path to mask three. And there you go, the text is now on here. So I'm just going to increase the size of this. And when we play this back, you can see we've got the text now animating on this custom path. Of course, the mask was really messy, so that doesn't look very great at all. That looks quite clunky. You can see it's overlapping up here, which doesn't look great. Of course, if you just wanted this to loop in a straight line across the bottom, then just select that text layer. We'll go to the pen tool. We'll just draw a straight line across the bottom. And then we'll just have the bottom bit off screen. So down here. So it is going to loop around this mask, but we're only going to see the top line here. So we'll just change the path to mask four. That is the new mask. We'll change the reverse path on. And there you go. That's just going to loop across the bottom like so. So there you go. That is how you create text and animate that on a custom path right inside of Adobe After Effects using keyframes and using expressions. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful and I will see you on the next video. See you there.